welcome and welcome again to my youtube channel thank you for always coming back to my youtube channel in case you're new here i'm pinky down please subscribe comment share and like i have this paper the one that i'm going to use for drafting so first i'll just start measuring 15 inches which is the half long of the dress i'm making then i'll draw a straight line using my ruler like that then i'll do the other side then i have to measure shoulder is seven inches after shoulder i will measure armhole which is three and a half seven inches divided by two which brings three and a half armhole it's going to be six and a half inches so i'll draw a straight line from the armhole to armhole i'll connect it then i'll make a curve on the armhole so this is how i'm going to do it i'll use the lola you can use a free hand it's okay you don't necessarily need the lola to draw it yeah so we are done on the armhole now let's measure the neck three and a half inches or so so I'll measure it like that then we go down with two inches neckline both sides back and front it's going to be two inches since we are making since we're making a poor neck or a a total neck I hope I get it light yeah that's it then after this I'll draw a straight line then we'll go for darts so from 11 inches the one that i have like the length in sides 11 inches from there i'll take five inch six five inches from five inches i'll measure one inch the other side one inch the other side which is the dart the darts from there when you're measuring darts from the armhole you measure two inch every time don't forget about that then you can connect the darts which is the front side it has to be two inches the back side you don't need to put an inch from the armhole going straight down that's how the back is but the front you have to measure from armhole going down with two inches so here here's my dart so from there i'll connect my neck going to the armhole i hope it's clear yeah, so from the neck going to the armhole, that's how I'm making my total neck or my poor neck. And now we just need to cut. We are done. And this is how it is. We are done what we wanted to do. So right now, we're just cutting everything off. The things that we don't need to use it right now. Yeah. So let's cut this. And this is how everything looks like so after this I'll take my fabric and I'll just draft everything I did on the pay on the paper on on the fabric so we'll do everything here let me just fold my fabric like this since it's a stretch material I don't need to measure exactly the way the paper is I'll just measure like this then I'll cut it off like that you just need to take your time when you're cutting so that you can get everything clear so the front side is done I'm done cutting it let's see what we did let's see what we made and this is it I hope you can see this is clearly then we have to do the back side and from this I'll just use this one Remember when you're doing the back side you have to leave two inches or one inches for a zip line. Mine I, I only kept like one inches for the zip line since I'm going to put a zip because I need the zip. So I'll just put the zip line then I'll cut it I'll separate the zip line. After that I'll go cut the down part. I think 
this one we are done so let me show you how the back side will look like since i've shown you the front already so yeah this is how the back will look like with the front together it's going to look like this so yeah we're done on this one let's do the back one let's do the skirt part the down part yeah since it's a stretch material i just measured 11 inches yeah so from hip i have to measure one inch from the from the waist i have to measure one inch going down from the waist to hip i have to measure seven inches down there on the length i have to measure one inch again then i'll connect everything waist hip and the length the hip always has to be seven inches so i'll cut this part since we don't need it we're done with it so I just cut it, then we should start sewing it. We have to go on the machine, attach everything together, everything together. So when I attach everything together, I'll show you how the results are going to be. But you can try this. I think this is the easy method. You don't need too much on it. You just need less as I did. This was my first time doing it, but I think I did well and I made it perfect. You too, you can also do it. It's so easy so yeah let's just finish cutting it we're done this one i'll use it as, as a neck band yeah that one let me cut it that was the only fabric i was remaining with so yeah and this is how everything is going to look like and this is how this thing will look this is the outcome this is how the dress comes out this looks good you can try this and thank you guys for watching bye